Meanwhile, diplomatic sources have told Beyond World is one that uh, Gulf tensions will come up for discussions during Mike Pompeo's visit to New Delhi. The situation in the Middle East is a matter of great concern to India. First, because of India's reliance on Arab oil, and second, because of the Indian diaspora in the Gulf countries. Sources have told Beyond World is one that India's external affairs minister, Dr. S. Jashankar, will press on the need for a stable Gulf during his talks with Pompeo. Weon has learned that Indian officials have already spoken to Iran's officials. New Delhi has asked both Tehran and Washington to de-escalate and refrain from any action. When it comes to the subject of Iran's oil, diplomatic sources have told Weon World is one that our foreign minister will talk to Pompeo on the alternative of oil imports. This, of course, uh, comes in the view of U.S. sanctions on Iran oil. India, along with some other countries, was initially exempted from the sanctions. But Washington recently lifted this exemption. Weon has learned that uh, India's Foreign Minister Jay Shankar will also raise the issue of the S-400 missile system with Pompeo. Jay Shankar is likely to tell Pompeo that India has a long-standing defense relationship with Russia and that New Delhi went ahead with the deal, keeping in mind the country's security needs. Remember, India struck a deal with Russia on the purchase of the S-400 missile defense systems despite U.S. sanctions on Russia. So basically, by signing the S-400 deal, India has risked triggering CATSA or the Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act. The U.S. has repeatedly stated that India should look for alternatives. India has made it clear that it has no plans to scrap the S-400 deal. Speaking hours before Pompeo's visit, India's external affairs minister Jay Shankar said that the meeting with his American counterpart will be an important one. ये जो विदेश नीति के सवाल जो हैं वो कल मेरे से पूछे दिल्ली में पूछे जब वो मुलाकात हो चुकी नहीं नहीं आप आप दिल्ली आइए या मैं यहाँ आऊँगा पर पहले ऐसा है कि जब भी मीटिंग होती है माने हम लोग ट्रेलर तो देते नहीं हैं मीटिंग होने दीजिए उसके बाद बात करते हैं क्योंकि ये बहुत ये माने महत्वपूर्ण मीटिंग है चुनाव के बाद यूएस से कोई माने वरिष्ठ मिनिस्टर जो हैं पहली बार आ रहे हैं तो होने दीजिए मीटिंग उसके बाद जो मुझे कहना है मैं जरूर कहूँगा now, let's also take a quick look at uh, Pompeo's tour of the Gulf on that note. The U.S. Secretary of State arrived in the Middle East yesterday, and in the last 24 hours, he has met with the who's who of the oil-rich region. The talking point in all the meetings was Iran and maritime security and Iran. Pompeo landed in Saudi Arabia where he met King Salman and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. There was no discussion on the U.N. report on the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. The leader spoke about protection for ships in the Gulf. Tweeting from Jeddah, Pompeo said, and I quote him here, freedom of navigation. Bin Zayed Al Nahyan. According to reports, Sir Pompeo requested the Crown Prince to increase maritime security in the Strait of Hormuz. Remember, the Strait of Hormuz is paramount for Asian oil importers. This water body is located between Iran and Oman. An estimated 18 million to 20 million barrels of oil passes through this narrow strait every day. The U.S. has protected the strait for decades with its naval fleet based in Bahrain. U.S. President Donald Trump recently said that other countries like China and Japan should protect their own ships in the strait. Experts say that Pompeo's tightly packed Middle East tour was aimed at reassuring Washington's Gulf allies that his country is committed to keeping pressure on their Iran. This despite Trump's decision to backtrack from the order to strike Iran's properties following the drowning of a U.S. spy drone.